Hi everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets, and today I'm here helping Amy with some Manic Monday questions. We had Trish Millard ask us more about adjusting our photos using the brush and graduated filter. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the brush and graduated filter and how I use them. Then I will show you kind of how to affect our photos using them. So. The brush is found up here on the right side. This is the brush tool. And basically this allows me to apply any adjustment to a small area of my photo. You can also apply it to a large area, but I use the brush to apply fixes or little edits to small areas of my photo. For instance, if I wanted to brighten up my subject a little bit, I would use a brush because this is a fairly small area I could quickly brush on an effect to my subject here. If I wanted to affect just his eyes, if I just wanted to brighten the eyes here of my subject, I would use a brush. If I wanted to soften the skin of my subject, I would use a brush. These are all very little edits that I'm making to a small portion of my photo. Okay, so that's going to help you know when to choose the brush tools. This is a small area that I can quickly brush over and make a quick adjustment, then you're going to use the brush. So if you wanted to affect a larger area of your photo all at the same time, then that's when I would start to choose either my graduated filter, which is this little rectangle here, or my radial filter, which is this little circle right here next to the brush tool. And when I click on these, they're going to have panels that are very similar to my brush. Okay, my brush has a few different things down here. My um, radial filter has a feather and an invert mask. My graduated filter doesn't have either of those. But all the rest of this is very, very similar. In fact, it's identical. So if I wanted to apply um, an adjustment to my background, I would click and drag. And this allows me to drag an adjustment. I'm applying gra the graduated filter depth and drama from the graduated filter toolbox to my background. And I could quickly drag it to the other side if I wanted to do that as well. And that's a really easy way to add an adjustment to a larger area of my photo. Now I could do something similar using the radial filter, but the radial filter is going to be radial instead of lines. It's going to be in a circle. So I'm going to click and drag a circle onto my photo, and then I adjust the circle where I want it to be. I'm not very good at getting the circle in the exact right place when I first do it, so I usually have to drag it to adjust it. So you can make the circle any shape you want, and however big you want, and you know, I could come over here and I could apply a totally different setting. Maybe I add um, darken. Anything that I have over here as a brush, I can make as a radial filter. I could choose Lip Smooth to apply to my background if I wanted to, which I probably wouldn't, but some of these I do apply as graduated filters, even though they're meant to be used as brushes. Let's just click Add a Little Darkness, and, um, and that's how you apply a radial filter. So let's go back to our graduated filter. Um, let's click on one of these, and let's say that I didn't want to apply this graduated filter to the cow, okay? Starting in Lightroom 6 and Lightroom Creative Cloud, there is a brush tool now in the graduated filter tool that I can click on. And if I wanted to remove the effect, let's sh I'm going to click on my overlay, I'm just going to type O for overlay, and you can see where the effect is being applied. If I wanted to erase it from the cow, then I would just click on my erase tool and I can just erase it from the cow now. So now we don't have to have any of that effect being applied to the cow. Okay. And let's say if I wanted to add more of the effect, maybe this area right here didn't get affected by either of my graduated filters. I would just click on the A tool and I make my brush bigger, and now I'm going to add the effect to this area that didn't get it before, okay? Maybe I want to add it down here, too. 
So now you can add and subtract from the graduated filter as well. You can also do the same thing with the radial filter. So if I have a radial filter here, and let's say that it's just a little bit too much here in the middle, I want to erase it again from the cow. I can click over here on my brush tool, I can click on erase, or this is tricky, I can just tap the alt key and begin erasing, hold down the alt key and erase. And then if I want to go back to adding more of the effect, I just release the alt key, it changes to a plus, and then I can go and add more of the effect anywhere I wanted to, which I don't really want to add. Anyway, so that is how I use my brushes and my graduated filter tools. Now let's talk about a few of the presets that use these. So for instance, um, let's look at the new Boca. Let's come up here. I've got lots of sets open. Sorry. We're just going to add one of these. Let's try Dancing Lights. And the Boca sets use radial filters. So I'm going to click on the radial filter and you'll see that all of these gray dots appear. I must have chosen the right side because I've got these all applied to my right. If I want to affect any of them, I just click on them and you can see that they're being affected here. So I could erase, I could click on these, I could move them around. Um, if any of them were affecting my subject, then I could come over here and get the brush tool, then tap the Alt key and erase them from my subject. So that now they're not affecting my subject, but the filter is still there and it's affecting everywhere else. So that's how you can make adjustments using the brush tool with that's within your radial filter and graduated filter tools. Another set that uses a lot of filters is the luminous set. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open my luminous set. I'm just going to choose one of these. Let's do, I don't know, creamy sun flare. Right. Okay, let's click on my graduated filter tool. You can see that well, that's our old graduated filter. That's a radial filter. Let's find, I know some of these golden hour I know is a, a graduated filter. So here we have a graduated filter now applied. Let's say I didn't want this applied to my subject. Then I could click on the brush tool, click the alt key to get the remove or the erase tool and I just click it on my subject. That brings it down on my subject. So now this effect has been added to everywhere else besides my subject. Um, so adjusting the luminous set, you're going to be using a combination of probably radial and graduated filters. So you, you just know that and know that if you want to affect that, then you're going to have to come in here to my radi the radial filters and the graduated filters. You could adjust the color by clicking on the color tool so you could reduce the color that's added. You could reduce any of these sliders as well or change any of those sliders as well. So. Anyway, hope this helps you understand just a little bit more about the brush and graduated filter tool and how to adjust the presets using the brush and graduated filter. Have a nice day.